Hey guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm just navigating through all my stuff to get over to Kenny. And um, yeah, I got some things to do to Kenny. Cause you know what? I'm gonna take Kenny to work next week. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right, I sure diddly do am. But um, I gotta deal with this. He's got a flat tire, but, um, ooh, and I bump in to this light. I bumped into that light just once or twice, but, but yeah, getting Kenny ready to go so that, um, so I can drive him on the highway and have everything just kind of ticky boo. But if you remember from my cleanup episode that, uh, Kenny's got a little hole in his back end. And uh, so I'm gonna clean that up and put some GB Weld on it. Cause if you can't see it, it's not there, right? <laughs> uh, but until, in all, seriously, in all seriousness, um, until I get Kenny a rear clip, it's just gonna have to do. And for what I'm doing right now, I'm just gonna basically drive Kenny, work on the interior, work on getting um, the holes in the cab tidied up. But I wanna be able to drive him while I'm doing that, so. Um, I'm gonna put some bolts back in the frame where it needs bolts and uh, I'm gonna put some JB weld on the rear diff and then when I find the right clip we're gonna cut the frame off and extend them out with two new rear ends well maybe not brand new rear ends I mean I would love to have two new brand new rear ends but I can't afford two brand new rear ends so we're looking for a clip preferably a rear clip with I kind of want new way suspension you know that don't really care for eight bag I mean, it's got eight bag, K2 has eight bag, and I figured I would leave K2 with eight bag. Um, and Kenny, I'm thinking new way. Stretch him out, stretch him out as long as I can too. But check this out, this is, this is ugly. <laughs> so we're ready to clean, well, actually I already cleaned, but we're ready to JB weld that up. Cause um, yeah, if you guys remember, this is the hole I made when I was pressure washing off the diff and I don't know if you can hear that. It's not very thick. So you can see the, you can see the gear there. <laughs> ah, you can see the gears. Um, but yeah, it's really not uncommon for diff housings to get rusted out. So, so what are we gonna do? Gonna get some JB Weld and we're gonna patch that up. And, um, and it's really, I mean, these diffs are toast. Um, the, the crown and pinion, ring gear, um, pumpkin, if you will, they could be good. You know, if I look at, uh, if I look at this, this is, you know, it's not all rusted out. Um, the back diff and the front diff have been patched before. There's an old patch there. Um, I've got a new vent for it there as well, just so I don't blow up my patch. But these aren't your most popular rear ends. So I wanna put, well, ideally what I'd like to do is put 46s with dual lockers. But even just um, uh, 40 diffs with dual lockers would be good. Or super 40s, but I want them to be a little bit tougher. Um, you know, it's only a, a 450 horse, so it's not like I need to have real big diffs, but um, but it'd be kind of nice to make Kenny, uh, you know, make Kenny so that he can haul something. But, um, you know, if you look at the rear housing, same kind of thing. It's got JB Weld on it here. Interestingly enough, this JB Weld job, that was done in, um, when was that done? The previous owner before the last owner did it in like 99 or 2000 or something. And uh, so it's lasted this long. I mean, it had its whole whole last life um, like that and it's, it's still here. So anyways, we're gonna do that. And then, you know what, if a diff blows up, who cares? We'll just tow it home and carry on. But we don't really wanna blow up a diff, but if we do, yeah, happens. And, uh, keep my eye out for a rear clip rear clip so anyways that's uh that's what we're gonna do there i put some some rust neutralizer and when i say nuts not <laughs> when i say not through to either when i say rust neutralizer i mean rust converter and i got this stuff rust check converter converts rust to a paintable uh barrier layer on all metal surfaces and uh you know what Seems to work, so we'll give it a whirl. Because really, it doesn't have to last forever. I mean, depends how long it takes me to find a rear clip. So anyways, I better get started. This is what I'm gonna use. JB Weld Steel Stick. Um, 
world's strongest bond. Well, I don't know. I think the bond between a man and his child is stronger. Maybe a man and his dog. Probably his man and his dog anyways. Or a dog and a man. Or dog and his owner. Anyways. Um, strength 900 PSI. Set time 5 minutes. Easy to use. Uh, works on aluminum, brass, bronze, copper, iron, and stainless steel. So I'm using the putty to start with. Um, I'm going to use a little piece of... Um, uh, metal and I'm gonna squish the putty on it and then stick that there and then I'm gonna use the more liquid JB weld to coat over it after that but the reason why I wanted to use a putty is so that the JB weld doesn't run down into the um, run down into the diff so that's my reasoning and how do you get this oh there you go there huh. so I guess I just cut off a piece <laughs> tear off a piece <laughs> I'm going to use ah, a tool. This looks like a good tool. I think I just knead it. Knead it with my fingers. Um, remove required amount of putty. Mix thoroughly. Kneading putty with fingers to a uniform color. Apply. Press putty, press putty firmly to the surface to be repaired. For best results, use a blah, blah, blah. Clean the surface. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So... Uh, let's peel that off the end there. We're just going to do this. I'm going to do like half. That seems like the appropriate thing to do, right? Go big or go home. You know what Peterbilt Mike says. There's only one king, and that's Peterbilt. But there's Kenny! <laughs> so, yeah, this is how it looks. Has a black, black innard. A little piece of whatever stuck to it. Paper. Doo -doo -doo. Now we need it. <laughs> You've got to knead it. Or squish it. Or whatever. Knead it, squish it. Make it a uniform color. Urgh. I don't know if there's a... I don't know if there's like a particular way to do it. I mean, knead it, I guess. He... Is that what it... Did that actually say knead? It says mix. Oh, it does say need. Need with a K. Um, this is probably gonna be a two, two dayer, cause um, Andrew's picking up Mr. Gibbs. So she's on her way home tonight and I didn't get much done today, let me tell you, cause I had to take Andrew to the airport and I was lazy and you know how that goes. Stuff happens, but look at this. It's starting to change color and it's getting softer too, which is kind of handy. I almost should have mixed all of it, I'm thinking. Ah, this will be fine. Eh, we'll just knead it until it's all good. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, thinking that's going to do. Ah, it's kind of like Play-Doh. But um, anyways, let's go stick it. <laughs> let's go stick it. Stick it to it. And I'll need it on the way, just in case you need it. I need it to fill the hole. Ouch, gosh, I just did it again. It's freaking light. Okay, so this is the, um, the little piece of, I should know what that's called, but I don't remember. So I'm gonna use that as, call it a piece of structural integrity thing. So, ooh, it's getting warm. It's getting warmer, warmer. <clears throat> Sorry, that was creepy. I'm gonna put the, you know what? I think I really do need to do some more. Dang it. My plan with this chunk of metal was for it to offer some strength. So then I just put this like there, kind of squish it into place. Like a bodyman. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Like butter. I think Andrew's trying to text me, message me, tell me how much she likes her kitty cat. There we go. That looks pretty dang good. 
pretty dang diddly dang dong ding good. Feels like it's actually starting to harden up already. Well, it says five minute. <laughs> you got five minutes and then that's it. There. Just like that. So that's it. I got a little metal thing. I've uh, pushed it down. It's starting to harden up, so that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna use this other one, um, the liquid stuff, and I'm gonna put over top of that um, for strength, because that's 900 PSI strength. And the other stuff, I believe is 5,000 used for steel. <sighs> Reach into my bag of tricks here. Is that, I think I got more putty. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this stuff. So, so this stuff, this is JB Weld's, see if you can see it there, world's strongest steel reinforced epoxy. Um, strength 5,020 PSI, set time four to six hours. So this is definitely a little tougher. So, but it's more liquid and what I didn't wanna do is mix this up and then have it run into the rear end housing. So I'm gonna let that set, um, it takes an hour, and then I'm gonna mix this stuff up, and I believe this stuff is gonna be more liquidy, and then I'm gonna basically slather it all over that thing. Um, yeah, slather it all over, put it, um, just do a whole big area, because that diff is like paper thin. But you know what, for what we're doing, doesn't matter. Not even packing a load. Not a very big load, not a payload. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, it's licensed for, oh my gosh, what am I talking about? I haven't gone there yet. There we go. Even comes with a mini popsicle stick. It's for like, you know, that's what happens when the elves have popsicles and they just save them for, uh, for JB Weld, but uh, anyways, we shall wait for that to just set. I'll see if I could use this anywhere. I could put this on the exhaust, except I don't know what heat rating this is good for. And I don't want to put it on there if it's not good to a thousand degrees or whatever exhaust is. So anyways, I'll be right back. My epoxy is hard. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's uh, it's set and it's yeah. <clears throat> now I've used 
I've used that style um, putty epoxy for fixing fuel tanks in the past where, you know, you got a, I had a rock that rubbed a hole through the tank and, you know, I could reach up and I could touch it between the frame and the tank and I just cleaned it up really good, stuck it up in there and it worked good. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up a whole tube of this stuff and uh, cover the area. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Roll up your sleeves, Mike. This could get dirty. Doo -doo. Okay, pop that off. You just throw it away. <clears throat> Mix it up right here. Just gonna use it all. There it is, the black and the gray. And this stuff sets in uh, four to six hours and it takes a full 24 hours to cure. So I'm gonna mix this up, put it on, and then I'm gonna go pick up Andrew from the airport and pick up, pick up la cat, Mr. Gibbs. So yeah, like my previous video, when I was asking you about the cat or telling you about the cat, I lost. So we're getting a cat. He was down in the lower mainland and um, we were going to drive down and pick him up because he was in Chilliwack but with that major flooding down south um, all the roads are closed. Actually all the roads were washed out so going to get him not in the cards so um, I told Andrea just you know what use WestJet points and uh, book a flight and go get him. So uh, that's what we did. Yeah. <laughs> Sniff it. <clears throat> okay, I shouldn't have done that. Um, it's, uh, I thought it would be getting hot to tell you the truth, but it's not. But it is nice and liquidy. But see how this is liquidy like that? I didn't want to put that on the diff and have it run in. But being that it's liquidy, it will probably seal to the diff that much better. That's what I'm thinking. So... I think that's, I think that's got her, guys. Nice and luby. Luby! I'm just gonna dump the whole thing out, you know that? Mike's rear end repair! If you need help with your rear end. Oh gosh. You know, rear differential. Oh, crazy, crazy. Yeah, this looks good. Just spread her all over. I'm gonna do this a couple of times too, so that I have a nice big thick patch. And really this part of the rear differential, it, it doesn't, it's not really required for strength. I mean, it is strength, but this housing right here, that's where all your strength is. So, look at that, looks good. Looks really good in my opinion. I guess I could do up another batch right away, couldn't I? Just let it all dry at once. Maybe I should do that. You know what, I am gonna do that. That's a great idea. Great idea, Mike. Glad you thought of it, guys. And that way, um, it can all be dry by tomorrow. We'll come back in the morning and uh, hopefully it'll be cured by then. And hard. Like a rock. Or like a steel differential housing. There we go. Patch. Just call me Patch Adams. But um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix up a whole nother thing and I'm just going to smear it all over this area because, um, because I know this dip is thin. With another tube of epoxy. Don't get it on your fingers, Mike. 
set this down there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. It's interesting because when you try and mix small amounts, the um, the black seems to come out easier than the than the gray. It's like it's a, a not as thick a consistency, which is a bit of a bugger when you're trying to do equal parts. So, and I got it on my hand. Epoxying myself. <clears throat> when the epoxy hits your eye like a big pizza pie, it freaking hurts. Yeah, don't get it in your eye. Gosh. This looks good though. Looking good. <whistles> Mike's five minute epoxy repair. Who knew I could weld? Actually, I knew I could weld. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna slather it all on. Probably a little overkill, but I'd rather be a, a little overkill right now while it's in the shop than have it leak oil and have to clean it up again and be right back at her. If you know what I mean. I should have put gloves on. Good enough. Yeah, get this off my hands. All right, guys, that's it. We'll wait till morning and uh, see how it looks, so. And just like that, it's tomorrow. And oh my gosh, what a beautiful day it is. We've got blue sky, sunshine. It's warm, which isn't great, but kind of nice to tell you the truth um, except for if you're going to work tonight or tomorrow because you're logging and then it's not good because wet warm means mud slippery icy poopy but cold means hard traction and good no mud anyways um, yeah let's go see how my JB well did did it solidify did it seal the hole is K2. Gosh, why do I keep calling Kenny T2? I should just call Kenny K1. Maybe I should call him K1. K1, the number one. Kenworth in the world. The world's second best. Kenworth K100. Uh, doot, 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 doot. <laughs> I think the alarm's off. If it's not, they'll certainly know in the house when the uh, horns start blowing. Won't I be a popular guy? Turn on the old light for Mike's garage. Boo! <laughs> you know, I was thinking about rearranging things this morning um, to make it easier because I gotta change that tire. Cause you know what? She's flat. And you know what else I got? Let me show you what I got. Just, just five minutes. I got license plates. I got license plates for Kenny. So you know what that means? He can drive on the street. He can drive on the highway. He could drive on an interstate actually and be totally legal. And you know what? He's insured for comprehensive and collision. So if I do go in the ditch and I wreck him, 
they're gonna pay to fix them or they'll help me fix them or they'll just send me some money. Um, but no, in all seriousness, I was able to get plates for Kenny. So I really want to get them tidied up so we can drive them to work tomorrow because that's just fun. Uh -huh, that's just fun. And um, you're probably asking, Mike, how are you able to get plates without getting Kenny inspected? What about that flat tire? What about the crack in the window? Does he have a crack in the window? Actually, I don't know if he does have a crack in the window. Um, well, actually, in this province, if you want, you can insure your truck for personal use. Um, all I have to do is put not for hire on the side, which reminds me, I was going to ask Andrea to, you know, fire up her do -do -do -do, um, cricket. Because, oh, yes, I remember when, oh, I want to get a cricket and I can make daggles and do all this. And, well, guess what? I haven't seen it get used in the last few months and I need some decals, so. She's probably not watching this anyway, so it's okay, I can say that. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, you can insure a truck for personal use, and if you insure it for personal use and it's already registered, I don't have to get it inspected. Pretty cool, eh? Is it safe for everybody to do that? Eh, probably not, but, um, but it is for me, because, well, at the end of the day, they could still stop me and inspect it, and, or force me to get an inspection or put it out of service if it's dangerous, so. Um, but yeah, insure it for personal use. Can't haul anything with it legally, you know, for, for money, um, not for commercial purposes. There we go. That's better. Not for commercial purposes. Um, but if you want to drive to work a couple times a month, if you want to just go for a joyride, yeah, you can do it. If you want to go to save on foods and pick up your groceries, what better thing to do than take your cab over? I know. What a great idea. So I put six months on them. So... I don't know if I'm going to put a rear clip on them in the next six months because I'm going to drive them for the next six months. Or I'll have to put the rear clip on quickly so I can keep driving them. Or I could take them to a fab shop and get them to help me with it because you know what? When it comes to cutting the weld and the frame back together, I'm not doing it. I'm getting a professional. You know, I can cut, I could weld, I can do wiring, but you know what? I'm not 100% perfect at everything. I know, I know. You're thinking, what? Peter Mike isn't perfect at everything. That shocks me. Well, it shocks me too. But you know what? I try and do some things and I screw it up. And then it's like, and you know what? I'm a bit of a perfectionist in an imperfect world and an imperfect person, which makes it really frustrating. So anyways, enough of me yammering and jammering. I got plates. Look at that. I didn't hit the, hit the light. And this is why I was thinking about moving some things around because <sighs> low and slow, the biggest issue is he's freaking long. So check this out. Low and slow is basically taken up one whole bay. I got my cars, my babies in the back on the lift. We got um, Kenny in the center and uh, that's a little tight. Not gonna lie, it's a little tight. So then I was thinking, what if, because right now Stubbs is over blocking that door, what if, I took the lift and I moved it over there in front of the motorhome, snugged it up tight, and I got room to, excuse me, that sausage and eggs this morning, it was fantastic. Andrew gave me um, whole wheat bread, brown stuff. Well, it's supposed to be better for you. Probably mean I'll have a good poop later. Did I just say that? No, I couldn't have just said that. That'd be silly. So yeah, um, move the lift over there because then I can, I can tuck it closer to the wall and get it a little bit more compact over in that corner. And then I could move low and slow from here into the center and I can back him up right tight to the wall. And then I'll still be able to tip his cab forward, still be able to park my tractor in front. Cause you know what, everybody needs a tractor. Well, especially when it's winter time because when the snowblower is on, I gotta make sure I got room to bring him in here with a snowblower because I mean, I could park it outside and plug it in because I did put a block heater on it, which I almost never use because then I built the shop. Um, <laughs> but I don't want to go out in the cold. Well, I mean, you have to go out in the cold, but you know, keep your tractor warm. You know what? Bring them inside. Then you fire it up. All the hydraulics are warm and you just <clears throat> get outside and you're working. Whereas if it's parked outside, you got to plug it in. Then you got to warm it up. Then you got to warm up the hydraulics and yada, 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 yada. So anyways, so that's what I was thinking. Then I can still park my tractor there. And then... I can move Kenny over here. Uh-huh, yeah. 
move Kenny over into this bay, call this the working bay, because all my tools are over there, and it's kind of a pain in the arse getting, and you know what, we're gonna be daily at them, or try to daily them, as much as we can daily them. If it's slippery out, I ain't gonna drive them. I mean, within reason. If the highways are slippery, I'm gonna take it easy. Side roads are slippery, I don't care. If it's slippery at work, well, we'll just cut donuts. <laughs> Hopefully on purpose and not, you know, by accident, because that would be scary. Um, and then I could bring stubs and put stubs over here. <clears throat> and I think, I think I'd have more room. And then I could work on stubs and Kenny, because those are, well, actually, no, I got to work on low and slow. Gosh, I got so many things. Well, no, I could still work on low and slow. Anyways, that's what I was thinking. Keep the working stuff on this side of the shop. Keep the storage, summer fun stuff over on that side of the shop. And I, I got to say, Prince, you know, he's under a car cover, but he's actually insured 12 months of the year. So if I wanted to drive him, you know, down a snowy road, I can. Will I? Oh, well, yeah, probably will because of another month or two of this and you get kind of, I want to drive my car. But um, that's the beauty of Haggerty car insurance, you know, insured all, anyways, whatever. And he's got collector plates, so that's cheap. And I'm babbling. So anyways, let's check it out. Ooh, look at that. It's all, it's all hard. It's kind of like he's got a toupee. And uh, the one thing that I was unsure about, like, because it's so liquidy, like drips and runs. But the good thing about that is, you know, a drip or, or pardon me, a run um, offers a high spot, which gives it almost like a gusset, you know, like a... a <laughs> A gusset, a rigidity. A rigidity is not proper English, but but um, yeah, strengthens it. So I kind of think I did good here. Um, now it's not been quite 24 hours, so it's still got to cure some more, but that's okay. Um, the beauty is with this on here, um, it shouldn't fail. And uh, we don't want them to fail because until we get a rear clip, we want to drive them. We've got six months of driving in me. Or at least get till summer um and when we get low and slow fixed up then we'll probably go get the, the rear clip from that so and i gotta figure out well there's lots of things i gotta figure out so anyways i gotta quit talking and get to work because if we're gonna drive them to work tomorrow i got some work to do you know i gotta i gotta do some tires i haven't pulled one of these tires off yet so it could be what's the right word could be a bugger could be a bugger but um anyways guys that's it, diff repair. If you got a hole in your diff, I'm telling you, clean it up really good, JB Weld. We'll keep an eye on it, see how it works out. But um, old truck issues, electrolysis, corrosion, rust. It is the devil, it really is. We don't like the devil. Let's put this bad boy in, because I don't want, and it doesn't fit, are you? I think I just have to tighten it more. Oh, there we go. Whew. It's not very, it's not super tight, let me tell you that. Hmm. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> there, got a bent plug. Have to grease this bad boy. And this, let me tell you, it's a bit of a bugger with all these airlines here to get, to get my shock tower out. To take these shocks off, I'll probably end up racking them, so I don't want to do that. But I would like to pull this, to pull this up. So I'm gonna cut a couple of tie straps. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I got more, it's okay. Croissant. A croissant? Croissant range? I need a crescent range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not French, which is probably shows. Don't know how to speak it either. There. Ha! I got it. Woo! <sighs> now what? I just realized. I still have the sticker on the back of this. Huh. Apparently that's 24,000 RPMs. Who knew?
Um, now, something I was playing with, I took the Pete little mud flaps off these quarter fenders because let's face it, we can't have Kenny, have Kenny advertising for Pete. I mean, even though he would like to be a king of the road. I, I don't even think you can see me there. Can you? I don't know. Maybe I got to do this. Oh no, you can see me. <laughs> Andrew's taking the golf out. So, I'm going to, I was gonna rigamajig up some fenders with some old takeoff feet mud flaps. Um, of course, upside down. Just because it's winter time and slush, if I could cover the front axle, that would be ideal. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna try some things, see how it works. Or not work, might work, might not, maybe, I don't know. And that bolt's too short, son of a gun. this to work I got to change this flat tire and I got some good use takeoff tires so I'm gonna throw those on and jack this baby up uh, fenders are on temporarily well do a more work on those garbage. There's lots of meat on it, but um, if you look at it, it's all wrinkled in here from, uh, well, being old, and uh, 
You can actually see bubbles leaking through there. So let's take it off. Take it all off, Mike. Bridgestone tire, it's a used tire, um, but it's not nearly as old as that one. It's got a mark on the face, which is why I, uh, I took it off a used truck we had. I don't think the damage is um, dangerous, but I couldn't sell it like that. But uh, couldn't get the tires that I wanted right away, so I'm just gonna run these uh, until I can get better tires. But uh, they're not terrible, but like I said, this one did have a, a chunk taken out of the face, but um, what do you do? I think it's better than that one. Well, guaranteed it's better than that one. So anyways, let's blast it. Blast! Famous blast. last words. Right. Take this into the bead. <laughs> Just like that. Might have been loud. I couldn't tell because I was wearing ear protection. Do, 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 do. Now we wait. I should get a bigger compressor. <sighs> okay. And just like that, it's full. 95 pounds. <clears throat> There's the, the mark on this tire, which is why I took them off. Um, but. The cords aren't showing, the cords don't look damaged, so if it's just a bit of an ugly spot um, for what I'm doing, I think it'll be fun. And there's a weight in here too, so I'm gonna pull this off. Urgh. Famous last words. There. Lead. Let's give that a little cleaner up. The old die grinder. -er. I should probably put a mask on. But I don't have one. Actually, let's see if I have one. I found an N95 mask, so not only will I keep this aluminum dusty corrosion stuff out of my lungs, I won't get COVID while wearing this mask. Oh my gosh. Woo. Uh, uh. Normally I would polish this. Oh, normally, who am I kidding? Um, I would like to polish this, but the roads are kind of crappy and I don't have time today to do that. So we're gonna do it another day. I already greased the front end, so it's been greased. And what else did I do? I greased it. That's handy, that's sealed. Um, I greased it, set the brake, 
cleaned up the corrosion on the wheel, put some never sees on the studs, and I also sprayed some WD-40 around the uh, brake drum. I'm not gonna try and take the brake drum off. I looked through the inspection cover, looks good. Greased it, set the brakes, give her a whirl. What's up, Mike ask? Mike, why didn't you move it away from the other truck? Well, it's because I like challenge. Not really, it's because I was lazy. And it's a pain in the butt. Low and slow's got stuff all over it, so. Oh, we can do it though. It's fine. Ooh. All right. Ha! Like a glove. This wants to fall off. So yeah, guys, if you're still watching um, and you don't subscribe to Peterbilt Mike, go hit that subscribe button right now. Just go click subscribe, click the bell for notifications, then when I post a video, it'll tell you. And you can say, is that an episode I want to watch? It probably is, because, you know, it's Peterbilt Mike. Um, but no, seriously, um, my goal is to get to, by the end of this year, to get to 30,000 subscribers and 5 million views. Can we do it? Yes, we can. And my job is to make some fun content, which is really kind of easy because this stuff's fun. I gotta get my hearing protectors. I got my hard hat too, because you can never be too safe. No, it's because I don't know where my other hearing protectors are. But yeah, hit that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and, um, Let's get us to 30,000 subs by, uh, maybe by Christmas. How about that could be my Christmas present from you guys to get to 30,000 subscribers and 5 million views. Yeah, that's all I need for Christmas. Well, that and a rear clip for Kenny and a paint job and some more parts for K2. I'll set it down and then torque it. Ugh. And actually, if we want to check the kingpins, we can just take and put the bar in the wheel. It's a little bit dangerous if you've got nice wheels. And just give it a... Kingpins are good. You know, Kenny's actually in pretty good shape. He's restier than a mofo, but he's in pretty good shape. It's well serviced, looked after. <sighs> Some of you may not know, but when you're using double nut, the um, driver's side is left-hand thread. So you'll notice the stud has an L on it, and that means to take the nut off, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey is backwards. So that means lefty-tighty, righty-loosey. That might be why we don't have them anymore, because it's a little confusing. Ah. That's a problem. Dang it. Okay. Come on! Oh yeah, brilliant. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, it's broken already. Oh. Well, I think this one's been off for a while. I got my bar stuck. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. I'll just quickly change the tires, Mike says. It'll be fine. And then he gets it stuck under a bloody fuel tank. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it 
just dawned on me, guys. I'm standing right next to the torches. I haven't used the torches yet, but uh, it will just warm up a nut. You know, just warm your nut up a bit. His nuts. Up his nuts. Uh, did you see that? No, I couldn't have. Oh, gosh. Snap, crack, pop! A lot of torque. Pressure. Make it official to drive it on the street. We gotta let them know we're not for hire.
truly a pleasure craft. <clears throat> Andrea did make these with her cricket. Thought she wasn't working today. <clears throat> Maybe I can get her to build uh, decals for low and slow. Hoot nanny. <clears throat> Damn right, hoot nanny. <sighs> I do uh, guess at that gap because she, she, her cricket's not big enough to make it all in one row. <clears throat> so, use the masking tape so I got a nice two inch line from the rivets. Went with red because why wouldn't you go with red? Oh, it doesn't really match that, but, but that's old school. We need to recreate that. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. Not for hire. Well, the truck's not for hire. I'm for hire. I don't know what I do, but but yeah. Not for hire. Not for hire. <clears throat> Go. So yeah, I think we're just about ready to drive this bad boy on the streets my washer tank because it's, it's, uh, well, it's, it's not working. I just stays closed. I don't think I should put anything in there. Well, <clears throat> I've got this mirror light working. My marker lights are still not working, and I wired up <clears throat> a side marker. A side marker, so that's cool. I just have to attach it. And I also got the mirror heat hooked up. So, oh yeah. I know you guys can't tell, but it's starting to get warmish. Yeah, definitely starting to get warmish. So that's good, mirror heat. It's an important thing this time of year, but um, ah. anyways, I think we're just about buttoned up, but I need a plate holder. I need a spot to put my license plate on the front. Oh, I need to get the marker lights working on those other lights. I was hoping to get it all done tonight so I could take it to work tomorrow, but I mean, I guess I could take it with, you know, lights not working and just don't turn the marker lights on, but that'd be hokey. Oh, I'm getting tired. What time is it? No, quarter after seven. Yeah, I should probably call it a night. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please smash that subscribe button and help me get to 30,000 subscribers by Christmas. That would be my Christmas present. If you guys could get me a Christmas present, just subscribe. Yeah, that'd be awesome. 30,000 subscribers, 5 million views. I don't know, it doesn't really matter about the 5 million views, but it's just cool, a cool, um, milestone that I'm trying to hit. So anyways, guys, have a good night until next time. See you on the flip side. Oh, I'm tired. Turn these lights off. Turn some lights off. Ooh. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, I got a mess. Ah, look at her. How hard could it be, right?